Welcome to The Door Maker. This video will show you how to order custom mullions and frames online using our Build-A-Door tool. Mullions and frames are typically used to show off the inside of your cabinet. They are backed with either glass or mirrors. Please note that we do not provide the inserts. We only cut out the frame on the door. On the home page of our website, you will see Get Bad Build-A-Door on the right-hand side. You want to click on that to start designing your mullions and frames. We have a few tabs at the top. In this video, we are going to walk through the mullions and frames tab. The first section shows you all our panel profile options. You can choose from our selection of flat, raised panel, or shaker style cabinet doors. If you have already worked through the Doors tab, you most likely want to choose the same cabinet door panel so that you maintain that consistency throughout. However, you are more than welcome to choose a different panel altogether. The next section is where you can choose the frame design. We have our standard 1, 4, 6, and 8 light frames along with our new additions. In the third section, you can customize the edge profile of your mullion or frame. The edge profile refers to how the edges of your doors are designed. Your options include rounded, beveled, or square. For example, edge number two is beveled, edge number four is slightly rounded, and edge number seven is squared. Next, you choose the color of your cabinet door. We have over 150 colors broken down into four color groups. Group 1 consists of all our matte finishes. Group 2 and 3 consist of all our textured and wood grain finishes. And Group 4 consists of our high gloss finishes. You can also choose the MDF only option. If you will be painting your mullion or frame, please indicate in the Notes section that you need Paint Grade MDF. There are no additional fees for this. You can also customize the back color of your mullion or frame. Your options include white melamine or matching the front color of your mullion or frame. Section 5 lets you customize the grain direction of your mullion or frame. If you have selected a solid color, you can select any option here. If you have selected a textured door with a wood grain finish, you can indicate whether you would like the grain direction to be vertical or horizontal. The last and final section is where you input your size requirements. You have the option to input your measurements in inches or millimeters. Once you have entered the width, height, and quantity, you have a few more options. Click on View Additional Options. The first option that you can select are bump-ons. These are clear domes that are applied to the inside of your mullion or frame panel at both the top and bottom. Bump-ons help to protect the surface of your door. The next add-on item is holes for hinges. Please note that holes are not drilled unless the option is selected. Our standard drilling location is 3.5 inches from the top or bottom of the door to the center of the hole. You can also request a special location. Please indicate your required measurements in the notes section below. If you require holes to be drilled, please ensure you select this option for each mullion or frame that you add. We also sell Bloom's soft closing hinges. Each mullion, frame, or door requires two hinges. Please ensure that you select this option for each cabinet door that you add. The last add-on is the knob and pull drilling template. The Richelieu knob and pull drilling template 
helps you install handles and knobs perfectly on both your cabinet doors and drawer fronts. This kit includes a knob drilling template, a pull drilling template, and one 3 16th drill bit. You will only require one template for your order. The notes and comments section lets you add any additional information. You can also upload the documents and pictures here. Now that I have explained all the details, let us work through an example. For the panel profile, I am going to select the Verona shaker because I want the bead detail to be apparent on the frame. For the frame design, I am going to choose the Darby. For the edge profile, I am going to choose edge 11 so that the raised bead detail is seen along the edges of the door as well. For the color, I am going to go with a gray and select Dove Gray. I am going to keep the back color of the door white melamine. For the grain direction, since I picked a solid color and the grain direction does not matter, I am going to select Vertical. Lastly, I am going to put my measurements in. For the width, I need 17 and 7 eighths by 29 and a half high. I need two doors. Then I'm going to click on View Additional Options so that I can select bump-ons, hinge holes, and soft closing hinges. To add additional frames, click on Add Another Frame and input your measurements. Once you are done, click on Add Set to Shopping Cart. This is where you will be able to review your order. If you need to remove an item, click on the plus sign and then click Delete. If you need to make a change to the measurements, click on the text box that needs to be adjusted. To add additional items, click on Add Another Set. Once you are ready to check out, click on Update and Proceed. And there you have it. You have designed a mullion and frame online.